So I'm here with Kat and Christy of Square City Comics. They're a local um, comics collective here in DC. Yep. And uh, they have comics from every single genre. And we have two different ones represented here. Kat, tell us about some of the comics you have. Well, uh, currently I've got two of my minis actually uh, on the stand here. We've got High Hopes, which is a tale of aliens and electricity. It's when you have a, uh, a robot and an electrician trying to fix a turbine. It was my first comic. Um, I've also got my little horror one-shot, Blackout, which is what would you do if you walked out your door one morning and there was nothing there. Just let that sink in. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, currently I'm working on actually a webcomic delivery, which is about a bicycle delivery gone horribly, horribly wrong, which uh, incorporates a little bit of horror, a little bit of suspense, and a lot of people in creepy masks. So when you say there is nothing there, I'm going to ask the uh, never-ending story question. What do you mean nothing? I mean, th there is an absence. There is an absence. <laughs> like it, it, The way I kind of played around with it, actually, is that I love using uh, black and white. I love the contrast. But a lot of the time, blacks are just used for shadows. And I'm like, what if it actually denotes nothing there? Like, there is an absence of anything actually there. So I played around with that. If you actually look at the, uh, the way the comic is laid out, look at the panel gutters. And you can tell when things are seeping in and actually closing off panels. So, okay, I'll admit, I was, um, I was a film major, so there was a little bit of me playing around with this, because I'm like, hey, you know, when you condense the frame, you just get black. Right. So, it's like shutters closing. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And uh, tell me about the comics that you wrote here. Yeah, um, I brought with me Everyday Imaginings, which is my first little foray into comics, with a, which is a mini book, kind of slice of life comics, um, all traditional media. And then the first volume of my fantasy comic, Infinite Spiral, which is a little Wizard of Oz meets Doctor Who. A girl leaves our reality, discovers a multiverse in danger of being unwritten. And of course, she's out to save that multiverse. It sounds like the perfect uh, confluence, Doctor Who and uh, Wizard of Oz. Um, and uh, your comic, are your comics in color or black and white? Um, my mini comic is in black and white, but Infinite Spiral is in full color. Oh, very awesome. And uh, you guys have a Kickstarter going on that sounded really, really cool. Um, who wants to talk about that? Uh, rock, paper, yes. scissors? We definitely. <laughs> the Cure is our third anthology. It is all focused on what if there was a cure for mortality? What would happen if you didn't have to die? So each of us have taken a different tact on what that might look like after the cure has been developed. And mine is a little bit of a gut punch. Um, a pet owner discovers that her ferret is terminally ill. What will she do to save that ferret? And also, what does it mean when you make something immortal? With mine, um, I actually, so something we tried to do for this anthology that was different from our others, was um, the couple of anthologies we really only had people who either could find an artist or if uh, you just pretty much wrote and drew it yourself. With this one, we actually paired up writers with artists, so we'd have like a broader range of different stories. I was paired up, and uh, the story that I worked on is, well, okay, we got immortality. But isn't that the purview of uh, another group of people, like vampires? And wouldn't they sue? I mean, it's their turf, come on. It just, so yeah, the whole thing is about when a va you know, like vampire lawyers, pretty much. <laughs> I had way too much fun with this. That's really crazy, and, and the anthology sounds like it, it kind of runs the gamut, because you would think you could live forever you know, you start thinking of, uh, you know, horror basically right away. Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. But, but it sounds like we have all kinds of different things going on. Yeah, that's the really great thing about this project and, like, the number of people we've had working on it is that we have tons of different perspectives. Someone, I, I, yeah, Alex actually did a whole thing where uh, it's, like, what happens if superheroes arise in where, like, half the population is actually still immortal. Like... What? How does that work? And then we have like other people who uh, like did a. Ah, uh, yeah, Kevin did the one where it's the. I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. I am sorry, Edgar Allan Poe fans, and I'm one of them. The cask of Montiago. He redid that with what happens if someone in it is immortal. Oh man, that's. Yeah. That's just really creepy. Yeah, so that is definitely a horror one, but that one's fun. Yeah. <laughs> just... And with 14 creators and nine different stories, you really have a lot of different views. So I have I have one final question, which is. Um, Outside of the convention, how can people get uh, comics from Square City Comics? Um, we're actually working on, like, a lot of us, you'd have to apply to us individually because we are, like, individual creators. Square City is kind of like what we do for some conventions and also because, seriously, working alone in your room on comics gets really boring after a while. But, um, so for me, I uh, mostly will work through my Tumblr. If you, like, send me a message, I'll, you know, send you stuff. 
but uh, I'm working on setting up a gum road and I'm also working on having a uh, like an, more an online store for physical stuff. Very cool. And you? Um, you can find my work on enterthespiral.com, but we also have the main group collaboratives webpage, uh, squarecitycomics.com, where most of our creators are linked up. Um, we also hold a meetup once a month. It's open to the public, so if you're interested in comics in the D.C. area, look up Square City Comics on Meetup, and you can come and join our group and hang out with us. Oh, that sounds really awesome. Uh, it's not every day you get to hang out with uh, comic creatives. It, so. is, it is a very silly time. <laughs> it, it is a very silly time. It, cool. Just, oh, God. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to me. Thank yeah, you. Thanks.